What's going on everyone? In this video, we're looking at two different workflows for leveraging AI shots in your Keyshot projects. The first thing we'll look at is mocking up labels, and the second is using AI shots to generate backgrounds. Let's use the recently introduced AI shots tool to mock up a quick placeholder label for our bottle. We'll open up the AI shots tool, and if you're familiar with our prior release of AI shots, you may notice that the UI has changed a bit. You can see that when opened, previous AI shots generations are now saved under the AI shots panel. From here, we'll select the new AI shot button near the bottom of the panel to open the prompt field and parameters. Once open, the goal is to use AI shots to generate an image that specifically fits the white space allocated for a label on the bottle. For this workflow, we'll make sure that we are using Imagine to generate the image, and we'll start by adjusting the resolution parameters and then create a prompt that will be used to generate the label. Note that the prompt being used here is pretty rough and meant to be a quick example, However, Keyshot's AI reacts particularly well to specificity and highly descriptive prompts. Once filled out, we'll hit Generate and allow the tool to generate a few different images for us to choose from. Be aware that the video has been sped up for the sake of this demo, but the speed at which you generate your images will be entirely dependent on the hardware you're using. In this case, we didn't quite get an image we're happy with, so let's refine the prompt a bit and give it another go. Okay, looks like we have something usable. Again, remember this is just a quick mockup so that the label has some level of detail. We'll go ahead and save the image out and then apply it as a base color for the label material. From here, we'll adjust the image by scaling, rotating, and adjusting the mapping type until we get a decent fit on the model. There are obviously many ways in which AI shots can be used, Commonly, we see everything from color and material way ideation to background image generation and scene staging. But this is just one of many creative and novel ways that we can integrate AI shots into our Keyshot workflows to help simplify the creative process. And to wrap things up with this workflow, we'll jump back into the AI shots tool to create a backdrop for our scene. We'll reopen AI shots and go to new AI shot and select the background option. Then adjust our camera to a position we like, along with any lens settings we'd like to change as well. Once we're happy with the composition, we can write a descriptive prompt to generate some background options for our scene. Again, this portion is sped up for demonstration purposes, but the speed at which images are generated is entirely dependent on hardware. Once generated, we can then select one of the images and save it out for later use or drag and drop it into the background to use as a backplate image. We'll then resize the background images so that the scene overlays nicely and looks natural. Oh. 